The thing what the government will be aiming to do is to get more infrastructure spending in the region. So on ports, on the rail, on, you know, got the NBN being rolled out again in a different way. We're going to need more in other areas of telecommunications, food processing, so electricity, water. The government's going to be looking to see how they can stimulate that infrastructure investment without actually spending their own money on it. If we're really going to get economic growth going in Australia as we move away from the mining investment boom that's sort of coming, not coming to an end, but it's tapering off that it's going to need more investment, more activity in the regions, particularly you know, in beef, in dairy, um, horticulture, wine. Those are very regionally based industries. I think the big challenge both for the economy and for Mr Hockey is how they deal with this demographic change issue over the next sort of 20 to 30 years where an increasing proportion of the population will be over 65 and therefore requiring more support on, on age pensions, more support on health care. But at the same time that change also means there's likely to be less people coming into the workforce. And I think Mr Hockey could well be saying to the states, both in this budget and later, if you want more money to spend in your own states you're going to have to agree to the GST going up because that is the rev a, lot, a major part of the revenue that flows to the states. So I believe more money from income tax, more money from corporate tax really is not going to be available and therefore the GST is going to have to go up but it's going to have to be the states saying they want it to go up because otherwise they're going to be cutting back on their own services particularly in the areas of healthcare and aged care.